what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. Now, we're going through this, the whole nation is, is, is reeling from this coronavirus. How are you getting along over there? You know, I'm trying not to let panic set in, you know, because one of my favorite quotes from Johnny Cochran is, uh, the only thing you have during a crisis is your conduct during it. Um, yeah. and, you know, there are people out here that panic, man. Um, yeah, we all want to be responsible and wash our hands and use hand sanitizers, but there are a lot of people who don't have the right information. For instance, you might see a lot of people at the grocery store or out in public with these gloves on. And mm -hmm. uh, I sent out a post on Instagram, wearing the gloves is actually more dangerous because whatever it is that you contract on the gloves, you touch it and everything else. So in other words, you spreading it to other people. If you in the grocery store touching boxes, nah, I don't want that. Touching produce, nah, I don't want that. And you picking shit up off the shelves, all of that connect contamination is going wherever you touch it. Door handles, steering wheels, anything. So actually you are spreading it. So it's better to not wear the gloves and just wash your hands. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you spread it if you wash, it, if you wash your hands? Are you, aren't you still spreading it until you wash your hands? I mean, yeah, technically you could be, but the idea is, is if you already washed your hands before you go out and you keep hand sanitizer on you, and you keep, you keep using the hand sanitizer as you're doing what you do, that's better than wearing the gloves. I wish I could actually read to you, what, and, and this wasn't my information, this was medical information, because me trying to convey it, I'm, I might not say all the technical things that need to be said to get the gist of it. So coming from me, it sounds fucked up because it sounds like I'm all over the place, but, but the theory in which it was written is absolutely, uh, uh, sensical. Right. How, 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 is, how is this thing affecting the bad for you? You know, how is this COVID-19 thing affecting the bad? Well, you know, all my shows have been canceled. So, you know, uh, you know, and I work every week for the entire year. I'm booked up all year long. So I think it was in um, late February, but maybe the last week of February, I got the word that all of March was canceled. And you know, about a three, th two or three weeks ago, all of April was canceled. Mm -hmm. And they say we're not gonna go back to normal until May, top of May. So for two months, I'm, you know, I ain't making no bread. So, so, so what's this thing that uh, Trump is doing? He said April 30th, what's that about? Did you I, hear? I think, I think, I think, I haven't heard the whole thing, but I think April 30th was supposed to be the deadline as far as people going back back to normalcy, businesses opening back up. Yeah. And we, Life, you know, just resuming its natural course. Right. What's your thoughts on that though? Like, what do, you, what do you, what, how do you think this whole coronavirus came into play? Do you believe in it that it started in Wuhan? Uh, he, you know, I, I don't get too deep into uh, conspiracy theories and, and you know, I, I've, I've heard a lot of them. Um, but I also know that this government it's tricky. And you know, uh, we don't control the government. They do. And by they, I mean the mayonnaise people. And we know they tricky. So I wouldn't put anything past anything. Um, but I, you know, I just, I, I just would love for shit to get back to normal. Uh, just cause this, this is, you know, this is a terrible situation to be in. What the talking about?